Okay, it appears I stopped the bouncing. Hi guys, welcome back. Oh, we got some crates or that to do as well, actually. I want to open the crates. This one serves as our voice. We cannot sing. Not in these low spaces. Your musics are colorless. Who am I speaking to here? We are the mother. We sing for those left behind. The children you thought silenced. We are Rachni. I didn't come here to talk to bugs. The children we birthed were stolen from us before they could learn to sing. They are lost to silence. End their suffering. They cannot be saved. They will only cause harm as they are. I don't understand. Why are your children killing people? These needlemen. They stole our eggs from us. They sought to turn our children into beasts of war. Claws with no songs of their own. Our elders are comfortable with silence. Children know only fear if no one sings to them. Fear has shattered their minds. I understand. A child left alone in a closet until she is 16 would not be sane. I'm more than willing to wipe them out. Such discordance bodes ill for what we must compose here. Before you deal with our children, we stand before you. What will you sing? Will you release us? Are we to fade away once more? The Rachni were a threat to the galaxy. Those tanks are filled with acid. If she gets out of hand, they dissolve her. They made a mistake. They let the Krogan go too far. This is a chance for us to atone. She has done nothing to us. Your companions hear the truth. You have the power to free us. Or return our people to the silence of memory. If I let you live, would you attack other races again? No. We... I do not know what happened in the war. We only heard discordance, songs the color of oily shadows. We would seek a hidden place to teach our children harmony. If they understand, perhaps we would return. Are you a survivor from the war? A clone? We do not know. We were only an egg. Hearing Mother cry in our dreams, a tone from space hushed one voice after another. It forced the singers to resonate with its own sour yellow note. Then we awoke in this place, the last echo of those who came out from the singing planet. The sky is silent. I won't destroy your entire race. You'll go free. You will give us the chance to compose anew? We will remember. We will sing of your forgiveness to our children. Alright, so, couple of things. Uh, first off, I've never let that thing go, and once again, I let it go because 
I wanted to keep it alive. Uh, because I think it basically... I, I forget if I was supposed to let it live. I think that counts as just letting it live, so... We'll see it again probably in the future at some point. Uh, now we'll go open up some crates. Um, and yeah, like I said, I've never brought Liara along for this adventure. So... Oh, uh, fuck. How do I do this? Oh, okay, apparently i mashing it a whole bunch. Being an amazing individual. So that was interesting. Kinda neat. The entire thing. I liked it. Good times. Very difficult. Alright, Phoenix, Torian armor. Okay, and a... A Schmildmir sniper rifle. Or no, that's, that's something else. Fuck it, I don't care. Uh, where is Garrus? Because I think he can wear medium armor. Wow, this armor's a piece of shit. Who would have guessed? It was a little bit difficult. They zerged me a lot, but you know, in the end, we prevailed. We are the winners. I don't know if there's much else to do here, but I don't think there is. Ah, oh, we can just go back here. Uh, what's, what's the labs here? Fuck. Are you here to secure the situation? If by secure you mean shoot every monster I see, sure. I am certain you are having strong feelings, but what has happened here, it is our fault. You understand? I understand that we'll be dead soon. Talk fast. Binary Helix found an egg. It was on a derelict ship, thousands of years drifting. This was Rachni's ship. Inside they find many eggs in cryogenic suspension. They should have destroyed it. Why hatch it? Binary Helix planned to clone Rachni, mass produce them, create an army. But when they get here, they find this egg is not a common Rachni. It is a queen. After she lays eggs, they move her to Rift Station. They are thinking that without her, they can raise the babies to be obedient. Hold on. Don't you need a male to get eggs? Queens are born carrying the genetic code of their fathers. Eggs are carried away from the colony to hatch alone. Queens can lay eggs in hours and have a colony in days. This is how they spread so quickly. Separating them from their mother didn't work. Ah, this was exactly the wrong thing to do. I am thinking that without a queen, Rachni do not develop properly. Her mind is shaping theirs. These Rachni are uncontrollable. Are you telling me I shouldn't kill these things? Uh, actually, I was to tell you the opposite. These Rachni are beyond saving. It is a sad thing, but they must be euthanized. <sighs> I am thinking that the Neutron Purge must be set off. I'm not familiar with the Purge system. It creates burst of Neutron radiation. Kills everything within the station. Things beyond get genetic damage of varying degree. I don't have time for this. If the Matriarch isn't here, we're leaving. Uh, what? I do not want so much to be here myself. But the Mira system, she will not let you leave. Is failsafe, you understand? You leave without arranging to eliminate Rachni, maybe they spread. Uh, but we killed her already. Whatever. I am feeling not so well. How do we set off the purge? Arming controls are nearby. All you do is insert the key. Then uh, I will give Mira destruct. But it feels worse now. Hostile contact. Where is it? Oh, there it is. Obtain perch codes. Journal. Uh. 
deal with hot labs. So why does he talk about like he goes like oh fucking we need to uh like well we need to find the matriarch still. <laughs> Dude, she's dead. Uh some continuity issues here. I may have found a flaw in this flawless game. Connecting. I have full access to the facility and am at your disposal. Activate the neutron purge. I'm sorry, but I can't do that without proper code authorization. Uh, six semper ter. <coughs> that is not the correct code. Please report to security for arrest and interrogation. <laughs> Activate the neutron purge. I'm sorry, but I can't do that without proper code authorization. Code input 8750200079. Code Omega, local execution. Verify code Omega execution in 120 seconds. I sense trouble. All right. What the fuck, guys? Dude, I just went out. Holy shit. I got blown the fuck out. <laughs> Apparently, the rack and I do not fuck around. I was gonna actually do the investigate dialogue, but this is a good option here. Connecting. I have full access to the How many rack and I are in here? I'm sorry. The sensor network is too damaged to provide an accurate count. Give me your best guess. Guessing is beyond my design parameters, Commander. What's the status of the facility? Containment breach and laboratory pod gamma. The neutron purge system is functional, but has not been armed. Activate the neutron purge. I'm sorry. I have it. All right, let's try this again. A lot of them here. Should I just run past them? Oh shit. That's probably why I'm blowing up. Alright, let's see. Alright, Garrus is dead. You gotta leave him behind. Alright. I have. Holy shit, look at the fucking radar. Yeah, fuck this shit. We're going, we're going, we're going. This is a really bad idea. Alright, hey Garrus, how'd you get here? <laughs> this is awkward. Oh, wait, what? Are we, are we dead? Alright, so we're allowed down here now? I guess not. We're allowed anywhere now? Let's have a look back over here. I mean, we could just go back to, I think we're pretty much done here, but yeah, we can't go back through there. We can't go there. Uh, this is really nothing else interesting to see. All right, fine. So we entered through the other doorway and just doesn't let us go back, so. I want to tell the good old folks uh, that the mission was success, success, but you know. I guess we don't get to tell them anything. Like, I guess they got Neutron Purge or whatever the fuck. All right, let's go. What's our next move, Commander? Head for the Mew Relay? The Mew Relay could link to dozens of systems. Unless we know exactly where Saren's going, we'd just be wasting our time. The Commander is right. We cannot rush off blind. We still need to learn more about Saren. Who put you in charge? Did the Commander resign when I wasn't looking? I won't be a puppet for the Asari. I give the orders around here. Understood? Forgive me, Commander. I was only trying to help. This is a tough mission. We're all on edge. Everyone go get some rest. Crew, dismissed. Ovaria report is away, Commander. You want me to patch you through to the Council? Patch him through, Joker. Setting up the link now, Commander. Commander, do not cut me off like last time. I failed to find it amusing. Whoops. And we're out. All right. That's worth every time. Alright, I guess we'll just fuck around on the ship for a little bit. Go talk to every important character. Oh. 
Uh, not them. Not that person. Alright, here we go. If you are here to talk about Benezia's death, you need not bother. She brought it upon herself. Don't pretend it doesn't bother you. She was your mother. She was. But she was not. I prefer to remember Benezia as she used to be. Before she was corrupted by Sovereign's power. The best of your mother lives on in you. Her determination, her intelligence, her strength. <sighs> that is kind of you to say. I appreciate your concern, but I am fine. Benezia chose her path, just as I have chosen mine. I am with you until the end, Shepard. Maybe we could pick up where we left off. You were telling me about your interest in the Prothean. Actually, I think I was talking about my interest in you, and making a fool of myself in the process. As I said, I am not used to dealing with people, especially humans. I did not really know much about your species when we first met, Shepard. I found it hard to take humanity seriously. Your kind always seems so rushed and high-strung. We don't have the luxury of time. An Asari can live for a thousand years. We're lucky if we hit 150. That is true. At first I thought that was a weakness of your species. After spending time with you and your crew, however, I think it may actually be an advantage. You humans are creatures of action. You pursue your goals with an almost indomitable determination. It is an admirable trait, but also an intimidating one. You're scared of us? Unfortunately, the rest of the galaxy sees humanity as something of a bully. You run over anyone in your path to get what you want. It is up to people like you to change their minds, Shepard. I'm trying. I'm doing the best I can, Liara. There is a reason the Council chose you to become a Spectre. They saw something special in you. The best of what humanity has to offer. I looked into your history. I know what you did on Torfin. I cannot even imagine how horrible that must have been, but you did what had to be done. You didn't need to go behind my back. I would have told you whatever you wanted to know. I apologize, Commander. After our last conversation, I was afraid I would say something stupid again. I wanted to know more about you. To understand what made you into the man you are. There is something compelling about you, Shepard. Are you sure you're interested in me? Or is it my visions of the Protheans? I admit, your connection to the Protheans had something to do with my initial interest. But it has grown beyond that. You intrigue me, Shepard. But I was not sure if it was appropriate to act on my feelings. I thought there might already be a relationship between you and Chief Williams. Yeah, no, there isn't. Williams and I are just friends, nothing more. My mistake, then. I am not as adept at understanding human relationships as I thought. But what about us, Shepard? Is there a mutual attraction, or was I wrong about that, too? No, you were right. There is something between us. I knew it, and I knew you felt it, too. But does this not seem rather strange? Why do I feel so close to you? We have only known each other a short time. We are from two different species. We have almost nothing in common. This makes no sense. These things never make sense. They just happen, and we get swept up in the storm. You make it sound so chaotic, so dangerous. This is the cringiest jet like I think I've ever heard. I don't think I've ever done this, because I would have remembered this. I'll keep you safe. I am not looking for a protector. This is all a bit overwhelming. I am not used to this. You. I need some time. Take all the time you need, Liara. I'll be here. Thank you, Shepard. Let's... Let's just talk about something else for now. I should go. Alright, anybody who plays this game in Paragon is a cock, I'm just saying. Yes, Commander? Is there something? I Goodbye, I don't, I, don't, I don't want anything from you. Alright, where's Ashley at? Not here, apparently. But there is sleep pods. Uh, let's go back out then. Oh, actually, down the elevator. Yeah, there is a loading screen, but whatever. Oh shit, it's still fast. All right, let's let's romance the alliance requisition officer. Looking for supplies? Oh, you know I'm looking for supplies. No. Not right now. No problem. Keep checking. All right, hey, Garrus. How are you? Why did you want to be a C-Sec officer in the first place? Hmm, that's a good question. 
There were several reasons, I guess. Like what? Probably the same as most officers. I wanted to fight injustice, wanted to help people. I guess my father had something to do with it, too. He was CSEC, one of the best. I grew up hearing about his accomplishments or seeing his picture on the vids after a big arrest. He's taking my resignation pretty hard. Okay, so why is the volume, like, so low for just this character? What the fuck? He's not impressed that you're going after Saren? My father's a CSEC man to the bone. Do things right or don't do them at all, he says. He thinks I'm being too rash, too impatient. He's worried I'll become just like Saren. He actually talked me out of becoming a Spectre when I was younger, for the same reasons. You were asked to be a Spectre? Well, I was targeted as a possible Spectre candidate. Me and about a thousand other Turian military recruits. I could have received special training, but my father didn't like it. He despises the Spectres. He hates the idea of someone having unlimited power with no accountability. He wouldn't like you, Commander. No offense. Spoken like a true CSEC officer. It's a speech I've heard one too many times. But Saren's not going to play by our rules, but CSEC's rules. If you want to nail Saren, you need to send someone who isn't restricted by policies and procedures. You're a quick learner, Garrus. We'll beat him at his own game. It's the only way to stop someone like him. I'm right behind you, Commander. I hope you're not. Oh, there's Ashley. Oh, by the guns. Commander, you have a minute to talk. <laughs> not for personal chat. Is this duty related, Chief? No, sir. Well, maybe. I, I know things are different aboard the Normandy, but uh, I'm I'm concerned about the aliens, Vicarian and Rex. With all due respect, Commander, should they have full access to the ship? You don't trust their motives because they're not human. This is the most advanced ship in the Alliance Navy. I don't think we should give them free reign to poke around the vital systems. Engines, sensors, weapons. I share your concerns, Chief, but I'm under orders. Under orders to let aliens gather military intelligence? I can't believe that was the Alliance's intention. We, humanity, I mean, have to learn to rely on ourselves. How do you get from relying on ourselves to mistreating our allies? I don't mean we should mistreat them, Commander. I just think we should be prepared to go it without them. As noble as the Council members seem now, if their backs are against the wall, they'll abandon us you know that's it's, it's funny because I wasn't able to agree with her in that last part so <laughs> the council's had a grudge against us since the first contact war I don't think it's a grudge I think it's look if you're fighting a bear and the only way for you to survive is to sick your dog on it and run you'll do it as much as you love your dog it isn't human it's not racism not really members of their species will always be more important to them than humans are these seem like deeply held beliefs, Williams. What made you think this way? My family's defended the Alliance since it was founded. My father, grandfather, great-grandmother, they all picked up a rifle and swore the oath of service. I guess we just tend to think of Earth's interests as our own. <laughs> Shut up. Uh... I expect you to keep your family politics to yourself, Chief. This mission will be difficult enough without you picking fights with aliens. Aye, aye, Commander. Do you have a few minutes to talk one-on-one? -on -one? I'm sorry, Commander. I need to get my duty squared away. I wouldn't mind talking more later, though. What's your opinion on the last mission? You mean the Rachni, right? They were dangerous, Commander. They proved that 2,000 years ago. I think it was a mistake to let them go. But that wasn't my call to make. It was yours. You know, you really should talk to Tassoni about her mom. She has to be hurting. Just saying, Commander. Uh, that's, that's not what you want to talk about. Dismissed, Chief. Sir. Which I find kind of weird, now that I think about it. Really poorly written, written dialogue for uh, Liara. So, we've got Saren on the run. It won't be long now. Saren's good, but I'm better. Good? He's rotten. To the core. I could tell as soon as I met him. Why didn't you tell me this sooner? I would have if I thought it was important. I'll decide what's important. Now tell me how you know Saren. This was a while ago. A bunch of mercs were bragging about a job out near the edges of the Terminus systems. They said it paid well and the boss was never around to ride them. 
They said he was looking for more men, too. So I checked it out. I didn't know Saren was openly recruiting mercs. It wasn't that open, and he only showed his face once. We'd been raiding ships in the area for months when we took out this massive cargo freighter. Our biggest haul yet. I was on board checking bodies for valuables, looking for some extra credits. That's when I saw him. What did Saren want with the ship? I don't know what he wanted. He was just moving through the ship, watching. Couple of the mercs called him by name, but he never spoke to them. Never spoke to anyone. I had a really bad feeling about him, so I got the hell out. Didn't even wait to get paid. That's the only time you saw him? Yeah. Didn't even know who he was. Still wouldn't if I hadn't joined up with you. But my instincts were right. Every other merc on that mission turned up dead within a week. Every damn one. Are your people? Oh, we already we already did this test. Right. Shepherd. Shepherd. All right, that's robots. As you're out of. can do for you, Commander. Actually, it's all the Carry same shit. Shepard. What's your problem? <laughs> Never mind. It's nothing. I'll be fine. I didn't mean to snap at you. What's wrong? I don't know. Your ship is amazing, and your crew's been really great to me. Especially your chief engineer. But I just sort of feel... out of place. The Normandy runs so smooth, it feels like we're not even moving. And the engines are so quiet. How do you sleep at night? The silence wakes you up? Back on the flotilla, the last thing you want to hear is silence. It means an engine's died or an air filter shut down. I guess you don't have to worry about that here. But old habits die hard. But it's more than just a silence. This ship feels so empty. It's like half the crew is missing. Back home, I couldn't wait to go on my pilgrimage. I couldn't wait to get away from the crowds. Now that I'm out here, I kind of miss them. I need my crew to be in top form. I can't have you daydreaming about going home. Don't worry, Shepard. I know what's at stake. If we don't stop Saren, I won't have a home to go back to. I'll be ready when you need me. I should go. See you later. <laughs> I like his fucking first response. <laughs> What's your fucking problem? Uh, I like that a lot. But we actually want to talk to people. We don't just want to be a total asshole. As funny as it fucking is. Uh, Alright. Oh, I didn't mind not speaking this up. I don't know. I think that's basically everything. Well, there's Joker, actually. Joker usually has something good to say. Why am I glad to be off in Novaria? I don't know which was worse, the cold or the corporations. One will freeze your balls off, the other will sell them out from under you. With all due respect, Commander. Alright. I'd like to know my crew. Mind if I ask you a few questions? <laughs> I can see where this is going. You do uh, you same want thing. Me. Top of my class in flight school? Fuck. Can, oh, yeah. put the Normandy in my hands and I'm I have to go. Right, see ya. We have to go. Nah, no, he doesn't have anything new. But I guess he says something after every planet we leave, so. Anyways, uh, that's all the time we have for today. I'll see you guys next time. Take care, everyone. Spin the galaxy round and round really fast.